Hey Michael with X-Force PC here. I want to talk to you a little bit about the upcoming Vulcan release um, for 11.50 X-Plane. <clears throat> now, I am an independent third party. I don't work for Laminar Research. I am good friends with the guy that created X-Plane. And I've been testing the closed beta. Um, I have done probably two full days of testing across all types of hardware. So I'm pretty well versed with you know what it can do and what it can't do now i wanted to give you some tips though about what to expect what not to expect and lastly you probably should watch to the end the do's and don'ts with this thing so what you should expect just about everyone will get better frame rate um, almost every in fact there was only one scenario where I didn't get better frame rate, and that was because all of the video card's memory was being eaten up with a particular scenario. I took a fairly low-end card and threw a huge scenario at it, and it gobbled up all the graphics memory, and I really saw no performance gain between regular X-Plane and Vulkan, and that was because all the video memory had been eaten up. Every other scenario, I saw an, an increase. How much of an increase you can see, well, that remains to be seen. It depends on your scenario. Now, um, Vulcan will be a checkbox in the graphics options, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they'll have that checkbox disabled. You'll have to go in and check it. Now, if your X-Plane does crash and they detect it was because of Vulcan, or at least they think it was because of Vulcan, they may uncheck that box so you can start X-Plane back up again. And so you'll have to go back into the graphics options and turn it back on again. You should get a message when this happens so you know that it did happen. The next time you start X-Plane, it'll say, you know, we detected your X-Plane crashed. We turned Vulcan off for you. You know, you'll have to go turn it back on if you want to turn it back on. Um, another thing to expect, AMD graphics cards, and this is no secret, um, you know, I'm not supposed to give out performance information in the closed beta, but this is something that the X-Plane folks have said already. AMD graphics, cards owner, graphics card owners will see greater performance increases over NVIDIA. Um, quite large, as a matter of fact. Now, part of that is because AMD has had such a penalty running X-Plane 11 all along. In other words, two cards that should have performed in OpenGL theoretically at the same performance level between AMD and NVIDIA, the AMD card would get like half the frame rate you would normally expect it to get. So they had more gains to be made. So if you're an AMD graphics card owner, then expect a larger gain, quite a significant gain possibly, and uh, NVIDIA, yes, you'll see a gain as well, just not as big. Now, depending on your uh, scenario, it will affect whether or not you see a big frame rate increase or not. I mean, maybe your, your CPU is really weak and maybe you won't see as big of a gain. Um, and, and the gains can be kind of wildly different. It could be anywhere from 10% to 100%. Um, so in the, you know, obviously the best case extreme scenario, you might see a hundred percent frame rate increase. And in the absolute weirdest worst scenario, you may see, you know, very little, but everybody's going to fall somewhere. Almost everybody is going to fall somewhere in the middle. And I'm not going to give out any specific details. Um, explain another thing to expect. We're going through the list of things to expect. Popular third party add-ons should work well with Vulkan. They've been working with the third-party developers. Just about every popular third-party add-on should work well. But listen to my do's and don'ts at the end uh, with regard to that. Now what you should not expect with X-Plane, don't expect it to work a hundred percent with all third-party add-ons. Um, just don't expect it. Uh, and I'll hit this again in the do's and the don'ts. But they, that's one of the main things they've been working on over the last couple of months. You know, the thing was supposed to be out three months ago. And the last three months, a lot of that has been working with third-party developers. Uh, don't 
expect it to make a huge difference on the number of cores your processor is using. You know, a lot of people complain, well, I have a 16 core processor, eight core processor. It's only using one of those cores or two of those cores. Don't expect that to change with Vulkan, at least not much, because Vulkan is a graphics API. It's not necessarily meant to increase the number of cores or your CPU utilization. It could change your CPU utilization because you're more able to more effectively and efficiently use your graphics cards capabilities. It could increase or decrease or affect the amount of CPU that's being used and that'll vary depending on your scenario. But don't expect your eight core processor to suddenly be you know, maxed out across eight cores. Don't expect it necessarily to crash less. <clears throat> that's another way of saying you should probably expect it to crash a little more. And that's at the beginning when Vulcan first comes out. That's why it's going to be in beta, right? No, it's not the, the final version. So you're going to have almost certainly more crashes with 1150 beta. And I'm, again, this is all about the beta, all about the beta. Um, and don't expect it to look that much different. So if you take X-Plane 1141 and you upgrade to 1150 and you turn on Vulkan and that's all you do, don't expect it to look that much different. But it could look better because you should hopefully be able to crank those sliders up higher because it's a more efficient graphics API. The one thing that really helps explain is if you can turn that anti-aliasing up. So you should be able to go a couple of notches higher on the anti-aliasing and still get the same level of performance you had before, or you could choose to leave it at the same spot and get better frame rate. So again, don't expect to explain to look different unless you crank up the graphics options. And that could change down the road, but again, we're talking about the beta. This is my experience with the beta only. Now, here are my do's and don'ts, and this is probably the most important part of the video. Number one, read the release notes. There will be release notes for the beta, and most likely they're going to tell you, this stuff works, this other stuff doesn't work. So you need to read that and see if you're using any of the things that they say don't work, or well, if they do work, it's not really such a big deal. But you need to read the release notes to know if you're using something that's mission critical and is not compatible with Vulkan. Uh, my advice is don't update to 1150 beta on your main X-Plane installation. You may or may not know, but you can have five copies of X-Plane, or I guess there's no limit really, installed on your computer. Make a copy of your X-Plane folder and update that one and leave your main X-Plane folder alone. Uh, the other option is install a second copy of X-Plane. If you rerun the installer, uh, which is in your X-Plane folder, one of the options is install a second copy of X-Plane. Install a second copy, just pick your little region of the world, don't pick the whole world, and then up, update that one to 1150 beta and play with that one. And that way you don't ruin your um, you know, regular X-Plane installation. Uh, again, or back it up. If you have an external, you know, USB hard drive, take and drag your X-Plane folder before you update it, a copy of it over to that external hard drive. That way, if this 1150 beta causes you all kinds of problems, you can just delete it and copy your X-Plane folder back onto your hard drive. Uh, just be careful with that. Um, Lastly, uh, well, let's see, I hit all of my do's and, uh, and don'ts, it looks like. So do make a backup, don't update your main uh, folder of X-Plane, and um, we've gone over what to expect and what not to expect. So hopefully that helps you as we move into this uh, beta phase, and good luck with it, um, and uh, I hope you see big gains.